Let's talk about Sweetle Batch 4. We don't talk about Batch 3. Well, I guess we should. So, Batch 3 was kind of a mess up. Uh, during Batch 2, we decided to make some changes uh, to some of the print settings. I wanted to keep track of the difference. And so I started putting a number down there. Yeah, I think you can see that. So, this is Batch 3. I, got, I printed out about 16 or 18 of these before I realized I forgot an important print setting. And the bearing wheels are all too small, and so it doesn't work. So, Sweetle Fixies are not convertible to bearing and there's some problem either with the tip or with the body so just be aware that if you're buying it and trying to convert it uh, there are problems with that it might be possible but that's not the intent uh, this is a fixed tip only it stays that way uh, can probably get uh, replacement tips in the future uh, but that's what that product is just comes with a string and a button and it's a fixed tip sweetle the batch four sweetle uh, you maybe can see those fours down there a little bit batch four sweetle that's where we're at and it will stay batch four until we're, there are significant changes so you know may be batch four for years to come i don't know um but we have a bearing sweetle uh, with the o-ring of course uh so that you get a little bit of shock absorbed down there and it comes with string and a button and it comes with a new uh this is new and improved tip grabber so this is printed out a flexible filament and it's a lot better than that chunk of leather I was uh, sending with uh, these to begin with. But this is a great way to hold on to that if if you need to adjust uh, the, the tip or the bolt down there. It could work its way loose. Ideally, you should never have to mess with it. But in case you need to change it out or tighten it or loosen a little bit, this will help you. Now, uh, you can almost do that with your fingers or wrap a string around it, but channel lock will, will do a really good job of grabbing onto that. Um, so that's what that is for. It's printed out of flexible filament so that the, the hinge works. It's not rubbery, really. It's just kind of plasticky. I don't know. You'll just have to do that for yourself. Also made a change to the neft nut. So this is now printed in flexible filament. And what this does is now what, what we wanted to do is be able to drop it in there, screw it on, and leave it on, but do both modes with it on. So in other words, uh, so... What if we could just screw it on a little bit and it not interfere with bearing play so that it's always in there? And then if you wanted to convert it, you just have to tighten it down. That's what we're going for. So it's a little bit hard to do it by hand, to tighten it down by hand, but it's possible. I just did it there. You could always grab the, the tip grabber and get it really nice and tight. Um, but I think we're there. Uh, this also helps with the LED model, uh, that flexible filament. Some of those LED bases are different sizes, so that helps a lot with that. So uh, this is the latest and greatest of what comes with the Sweetle. You got the neft nut, the tip grabber, string and button. So then here's the LED version. So it will come with a string and a button, of course, and the tip grabber and the neft nut, and then and LED. So you can get these on Amazon and stuff if you search submersible or waterproof LED, balloon light, something like that. Uh, I'm cutting the nub off the bottom of those and that's all I'm doing to these and I just shove it into that. So you can uh, leave the base in there if you want but now now you can get, it's it's pretty snug, now you can take it out or put it back in as you please. You can, if for a bearing you just screw it down on there and and use it that way if you want to do it fixed so uh this this is a lot better i think i was shipping two different kinds of nef nuts for that but now it's all a lot simpler um for the led models i think i'm only going to do like a white stripe or all white or uh the all of the other translucents are pretty dark uh so i think for now you'll just see an LED version is going to have some kind of a white stripe. Um, what else is there to say? Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have some new colors coming out uh, pretty soon. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like a road cone, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, I love it. So, those are some new LED models that will be coming out. Uh, here's a regular Sweetle that will be coming out. Got a lot more colors coming. Uh, some of them will just be one or two, like there's only three of those printed, I think. There'll be a lot of those too. Uh, and I'll just get a whim and print it and that might, I might hate it and <laughs> only do one of them. So I don't know. Colors will be all over the place for a while. Uh, also have some 
Trumpo Star uh, from Her Gerardo himself. Uh, I ordered a few tops from him, and it was kind of a minimum order deal, and so I've got a few to a few extra to sell on the website. So, um, so anyway, it's great to talk to you. Uh, I'll see you on the workshop. I hope to get some more, or get some, <laughs> some videos uploaded there pretty soon. Um, thanks for your support. See you around. Oh yeah, I forgot to say uh, the flexible filament idea for the nef nut or the fixie nut, whatever I'm calling it today. I just had that idea yesterday, so I've already sent a few Sweetles out or numerous uh, with the older version that aren't flexible. So uh, if you want the flexible version, hit me up. Uh, hit me, email at uh, spintupworkshop at gmail.com or through Facebook or whatever. Let me know if you want one of these. Uh, what you have should work, but uh, I hope you don't feel cheated. I just came out with this uh, yesterday. So anyway, we'll keep moving forward. See ya.